So what even is a brand anyway? It's something that I think for many people, especially a lot of entrepreneurs, is hard to define. And what makes it really difficult is that there are so many different definitions of what a brand is floating around out there. And I think there's a lot of merit to each of them. But what I want to give you is what I think is the best definition I've come across. And this is from Uli Applebaum. And what he says is that a brand is the sum of all the associations consumers have about your offering. He goes on to say that these associations form the brand image, which together with the brand's awareness levels, both aided and unaided, form your brand's equity. And he talks about how this definition holds true for big, large global corporations, as well as small businesses, startups, even solo entrepreneurs and individuals who are all trying to define what their brand is and trying to figure out what a brand is, right? So this is the key question here. You want to ask what comes to mind spontaneously when they think about a specific brand. And that's where you get those associations. And so your brand is essentially the sum of all of those associations. For example, if you think about a big company like McDonald's, what are the first things that come to your mind? Golden arches, red and yellow, sometimes broken ice cream machines, and cheap and expensive food, happy meals. And some of those associations may be very negative. Some of them may be very positive, but the sum of all those associations are what define the brand. So the brand is at its core, a very intangible thing. It exists in the hearts, the minds, the guts of your audience out there. And you might say, well, well, how can we control what's inside of people's hearts and minds? Well, you can't totally control it. You can't go in there and, and manipulate it. All you can do is influence it little by little whenever there are interactions between your target audience and your business or your offering. All those interactions need to be on point. They need to be designed to be excellent so that the associations people make with you and your offering are going to be closer or closest to what you want. But you first have to understand what those associations are that you're trying to create and what associations you're trying to avoid. And the way that I at least help my clients do this is by crafting a brand architecture that covers all of these bases and acts as a guide to every single interaction that could possibly happen between that organization, that business, their offering, and their defined target audience. So there you have it. Now you know what a brand is.